From our DC newsroom today, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy announced his plan to lift the nation's debt ceiling. That's right, and the speaker highlighted the differences between the Republican plan and the White House. Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson has this story. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy marked his 100th day as speaker by criticizing what he calls a refusal by President Biden when it comes to negotiating the nation's debt ceiling. On his 100th day as Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy traveled to Wall Street to call for cutting back government spending. Our national debt is too high, and the problem is getting worse, not better. Congress is up against the clock to raise the debt ceiling or risk financial disaster. Without mentioning specifics, McCarthy appeared to endorse the call from other Republicans to add new work requirements for programs like Medicaid and food assistance. It's time to get Americans back to work. McCarthy and President Biden have been in a stalemate since they last met at the beginning of February. The White House insists Congress raise the debt limit without conditions, but McCarthy rejects that idea. A no strings attached debt limit increase will not pass. While McCarthy accuses the president of not negotiating in good faith, the White House says it's Republicans who don't have a plan. Well, I think that at a minimum, there needs to be a budget proposal that is detailed. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the speaker is playing games with the economy, adding the debt limit was raised three separate times under former President Trump. Speaker McCarthy continues to bumble our country towards a catastrophic default. And Speaker McCarthy oversees a narrow majority in the House, so it will be difficult for him to find the votes to pass a debt ceiling bill without bipartisan support. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you.